chill vibe today. The hurricane came through. We're safe. It didn't destroy my city. It's time to go and catch us a big. It's a beautiful day. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Let's lock in real quick. Catch us Florida big. Fish, fish baby. <laughs> got us a little baby. Hey, we got our first bite of the day. First little culprit. We received a lot of rain after the hurricane. Fish coming off. We received a lot of rain after Hurricane Helene. It's pretty much came and tore up a lot of a lot of parts of Florida, like just tore it up bad and we're grateful. Still have decent weather over here on the opposite side of town. And a lot of sun as you can probably see glaring out my face. It's going to get hot today, but the bite is already hot for the first cast. We just move, we're just fishing that running water. It's kind of like a mini spillway on the other side. And let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. We weren't even playing around today. Got out there, hit him with the drop shot. First cast. Thank you, buddy. So this may be just a little different, a little unorthodox to some. I don't know. But a lot of people, when they throw a drop shot, they always thinking of a super small finesse bait. Maybe like a maybe like a three inch bait or a smaller or whatnot but as you can see i kind of have a bigger size hook most people go with the size one small little bait fish hook but we're throwing a full size worm hook i love to throw small baits for a finesse you know to try to finesse a couple of bass out myself but sometimes i also like a bigger bite so i don't want to go with the super small presentation sometimes i prefer to have that bigger size worm on there to hope for a bigger fish but First bass wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but it's a start. It's first cast of the day. I hope we don't have bad luck. You know what I'm saying? You don't supposed to catch a bass on your first cast. So we're going to see if we can keep them at. Man, how in the world I casting that tree over there? I got a whole fresh worm and I'm casting and just tearing it up already by throwing it in the freaking tree. We're going to tear them up today. It's going to be a good day. Hey, y'all see me with that, that big cowboy hat on? Out here looking crazy. Never mind me. That's just how it is in the south. That Florida heat. Summer is technically over, but Florida, summer all year long. I promise you. Gotta throw them sunglasses on. Hey, we gotta get them sunglasses on, man. Oh, I see a bass. But can I get his attention? Got a bite? That's probably where they at, huh? Yeah, we caught our first mistake for the morning, but no more after that first one. We just got here though, so we're still getting that. What shall I throw? What shall I throw? Let's throw a moving bait this time. See, we didn't just bring the drop shot. Put that rod down for a sec. We also have a swim bait and a swim jig. Two of my favorite moving baits to throw. Something. I probably hit the bottom. Oh, I thought I had something thumping. Try to get one cast in parallel towards the bank. That's the best way to start on most mornings. Sun already high up though. Bass may be pushing out a little bit. Who knows? This grass sure is stick along the edges. I'm not trying to walk in there. Keep on moving now. Come on, get out there, boy. Throw that worm out there. He better not come back unless he bring me dinner. Not even playing. I promise y'all one thing. It's only 8 o'clock, and That sun tear in my face. Oh, golly. It's an uncomfortable feeling for sure. We need some clouds. Mm. Are we toughing it out? Trying to see if we can catch us a few more. You know how it go? You can't catch them sitting on the couch. You can't catch them if you ain't cast. I know out there that, that water's about 10 foot deep or so, and no bites yet. I had to bite in the shallow water, so it's like, I don't think the bass is still in that deeper water. It is technically fall, but like I said, in Florida, I feel like summer is almost year round, but maybe the bass are already pushing shallow a little sooner than we expected. So it's probably time to implement a game plan and just keep moving. Looks oh so good. And I'm in the tree. Now. It's the way to do. 
Hope you bass get it misunderstood. Now I'm gonna slip. Not a good sight though, buddy. Gotta be real careful pitching that sucker in there. I keep getting super close to them trees and I can see it already, it's about to cost me. Well, if I was at my other spot in the country, I would have caught me a bass out of that situation. Still, we look too good. Let me take Jay fish. He know where they at. Cast by him, you catch you one. <laughs> you cast by Jay, folks. Hey, you a hey, hey. It was some good luck, boy. He know. That yo man, no, I tell you, boy. I definitely seen two bust up on the edge. I just can't get them to bite. Got one. No. Oh. Hey. Huh? No I figured that what it was. This water must be real shallow. I keep hitting the bottom. That's a fish. That's a, that's, a, that's a fish. I thought that was a fish. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I feel like a jack. I feel like a jack rabbit. I feel stupid. I just knew that was a big. Lord have mercy. Heart skipped the beat. Started beeping like a thousand miles per minute. Sheesh. And yeah, we can't catch anything else. We just suck. It's one of my better locations right here. And the bass just not cooperating. It's one of those days. One of those days. Trying to throw wherever I see shade and anywhere with deep meat, shallow water. A ton. I was gonna tell. <sighs> Gotta love it, baby. I'm getting bit again. My whole ride took going down. My whole ride took going down. And this fish like a salt water fish. Not sure if he got it in me, but I'm trying to make sure he stay on. I'm trying to make sure he's hooked good. I did let him sit with a little while. Stay on, stay on. Get him in quickly. I'm not sure how good he's hooked. Oh yeah. That bass is not happy at all, but we got him, baby. Still throwing a drop shot. Jig just not working for the day. It's super hot here in Florida, post hurricane. Got us a decent fatty. Let's get her cleaned up. Can't lie. I was getting to that point. We may just not catch anything today other than that dink, but we beat the myth. That first cast, first bass myth, that's definitely cap. We just caught us our second fish for the day. Yes, baby, thank you, God. Got us another fish for the day. It was getting so lonely out here on this water with this heat. Thank you, buddy. I know she's going to kick off super fast watch. She just waiting. She already had a lot of energy coming in. Let's get it, let's go. Going to get rid back up. We got to get back out and see if we catch us a big. That's all I ever want, a five pounder a day. I know y'all seen that. Man, my whole run was going down like a catfish bite. Like we were fishing a live bait out here. 
I just wanted to make sure he took it well because the first one I was getting nibbled. I'm not sure that was the same fish, but had to bite the calves before. Bass was just giving me crazy head shakes and I was waiting like two and a half seconds or so, just couldn't commit. But that time I waited till my rod just went all the way down, just let him have it. I getting bit again. Yep, yeah, tap. It's a little one. It's a little one. See that? That last fish, when he got it, he literally bit my rod over. He made love to that lure. This little fish here that keep playing, I don't know if it's the same one from earlier. He's not making love. I don't know what he doing, but he need to start short striking and get with the program. We were looking for some flooded sidewalks to try some top water action on, like the last time we did when the last hurricane came through. But the opportunity just didn't present itself, but hey, it still was a fun, good outing. Caught us a couple of fish and it was a good day. I catch y'all next time. Keep them lines tight. Go catch that 10. Peace. We're out.